it's Monday and it's time for a new video. Today I have another botanical journal to share with you. The size of the journal is still uh, small and I use new paper collection for this junk journal and uh, I hope it turned to be nice. And uh, let's start with what it has inside. So um, here you have a big pocket with a round window, some stamping and tips made of um, felt, made of felt, some printed out pages and some doilies, paper doilies, some decorative elements and stickers. Another tag that I use as a um, tuck spot. One more tuck spot here. This page is from a really old botanical book. So here we have another page from um, another botanical book and I just stick this um, partly transparent or I don't know half transparent um, sticker. More stickers here and I like how this middle page look looks. Some decorative elements and more stamping here. More stamping, another tab, and here we have a pocket, another pocket here. Here we have a flip out, here we have a pocket, and this says read. Okay, um, here we have this clip and I use it to keep this um, <coughs> flip close and here we have this pocket and just a blank space for you to add pictures and photos or maybe some memorable um, notes. Okay, another tag as a tag spot here. More pockets here. And here we have a tuck spot. Another beautiful a middle page. Pocket here. And here too. Here you have a tuck spot. And another tuck spot here, more stamping and tabs, and a really long um, pocket here with these decorative elements. Another flip out here, and you can use it as a tuck spot. And this is a pocket. Okay, more pages from botanical books, some stamping here to imitate lines. Tuck spot here, some beautiful stickers, printed out pages and uh, pages from a notebook, another page with this uh, sort of collage, another pocket here, one more pocket here, another pocket and one more big pocket here to keep something uh, important. A page with two pockets here, one and two. More stamping and I really like this new stamp. I used it in a previous junk journal too. And here we have an extra space for writing with this cover with a window and just pages to write something here and of course on the other side we have a tuck spot just decorative element here different types of paper lots of different stickers and printed out pages and another pocket here One more tuck spot here, and here we have the last big 
pocket for this journal. The cover is blank, so this journal is quite simple, but I really love the color scheme in this one, and I used some new um, paper collection, as I've already mentioned, and as well I just uh, decided to to leave more um, pages blank because I know that some people prefer to write uh, in this journal and I'm pretty sure that this uh, uh, I don't know this journal is more suitable for them because it has less pockets but more space for journaling and of course I added some decorative elements if you would like to purchase this junk journal you can follow links that I I will leave in the info box below the video and I will leave links to our new ephemera kits that's suitable for this journal too and uh, yeah we had the rest uh, some rest uh, previous week so and yeah uh, we had a bit of rest um, and uh, previous week was filled with different things not related to junk journaling but we are back and I hope that this week I will upload, finally upload my tutorial and some other junk journals as well and um, maybe I will come up with something interesting too but for now that's all what I wanted to show and what I wanted to say Thank you very much for your support and for your time and attention to what we, uh, we are making. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye for now.